Okay, so everything you will see today has been conceived in my mind, created by my virtual hands, and then augmented by AI. Hi, my name is Andrea, and I am a founder and a small business owner. And today I talk about how to navigate the AI landscape, sharing some strategic thoughts that I hope can be valuable for startups and small businesses like mine. Too long, we don't have the time to read. Look, if there's one thing you should remember from this presentation is the following. You are not and don't have to be alone in this AI journey. And actually, the more people you engage with, the more communities you're part of, the more you can navigate this AI landscape successfully. Because this is the age of AI. It's a new era of possibilities. We are indeed in the midst of an unprecedented shift and businesses that fail to adapt will fall behind. The stakes are high. You have increased productivity, enhanced creativity, unmatched efficiency, innovative ways to engage with customers. The urgency to act has never been greater. Consider this. According to McKinsey, that ran a survey in 2024 and 2023, the AI adoption surged to 72%. Um, the market is exploding. Projections say more than $400 billion by 2027. Furthermore, with this issue of labor shortage uh, that is affecting a lot of companies all around the world, a quarter of companies, according to IBM, are turning to AI as a solution. Now, imagine a world where AI seamlessly enhances every aspect of your business, driving unprecedented growth and innovation. Actually, for some, this could be seen as a nightmare. For some others, it's formal, the fear of missing out, being in a tunnel you cannot escape from. It's inevitable that there will be some success within others, but the fact that you are already reasoning today, it's a first step, right? Uh, jokes apart, adopting AI drives leadership, it boosts productivity, you need to embrace the future, and ignoring the risk means obsolescence. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel, so don't panic. First of all, in this AI era, we need to be more human than ever. We need to be centered and balanced. We need to be conscious and aware of how we use these tools that are here to help us and not substitute us. I make an example. Whenever I type something on ChatGPT, I try, if I know something, to share my thoughts, strategy, tactics, giving my point of view before asking the computer, the algorithm, to give me an answer. This actually increases your chances to get an even more refined answer. But apart from that, we need to ask for help and make good and solid connections. And this is something that led me uh, to have a fantastic team and a fantastic team of advisors behind my, my business just by asking for help. And business owners have problems. Let's talk about those problems. Business owners are busy. What we value is speed, results, and sometimes, often, the expertise of having someone that can do it right. And small and medium businesses and startups often struggle uh, to harness the AI potential due to the technical complexity, the resources constraints, and the, not, and the lack of knowledge. So how do you get started? Simple steps, understand the basics, assess where you are, identify the bottleneck, pilot it, experiment with it, and then scale up. Let's dive deeper. The basics. So AI is fundamentally a subset of computer science that creates machines that can emulate human. Now, to simplify the vast landscape of AI, we can divide into two main types. There's AGI, the general AI, and the narrow AI. The general AI will be the systems with human level intelligence that have this type of intelligence across all domains. This is still a futuristic vision, although people like Sam Altman from OpenAI are saying that we are getting closer day by day. And now we operate in the narrow AI. Narrow AI, in contrast, relates to systems that are focusing on solving specific tasks. And in there, we can find machine learning. We can find subsets like generative AI, which is about creating new content. We find transformers like ChatGPT. 
So first thing first, try to educate yourself. There are tons of free resources out there on LinkedIn, on YouTube, lots of experts already that talk about this stuff. We also have tons of guidance and, and resources to share in our community. Um, and then it's time to assess. And this is the stage where one of the primary challenges is indeed uh, the lack of knowledge uh, and the lack of understanding, okay, how, how can I use AI? How can I leverage it efficiently? So focus on your biggest pain point, mm -hmm. find a clear measurable goals of what you want to achieve. And only then you can see if AI can be a solution to your need. You have, of course, to invest in training yourself and your teammates so you speak the same language, right? I'll give you an example. At the stage of piloting and experimenting, there's a challenge which is often related to data quality. What kind of data do we feed to AI? What can we do with it? This is an example of a, a chatbot that we created at Black Cube Labs. This does not only have a decision tree logic, it also incorporates AI. So there's kind of a back and forth and good thinking with the, with the machine. AI agents are ideal for lead generations and customer support. This is a small test you can do. For example, putting a chat on your website to start generating some uh, traction or keep track of leads that you don't want to lose. And then there is scale. And this is where you're ready to take your prototypes to the next level. You're ready to implement more. You are ready to transform your manual operations and repetitive tasks into efficient systems. Here you can see an example I created for this occasion. It's an automation workflow done with a platform called make.com. Very powerful. Um, and uh, it's basically taking um, my blog posts and then digest this blog post, feed them to an air table, which is kind of Excel on steroids. Um, and this air table is ready for me to review. And if I like the content that he created, he basically posts on social media with different tone of voices, different styles on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. So boom, this way, it just automated 80% of my time while still keeping control of the things I do, right? And this also solves one of the problems you have with scaling with AI initiatives, which is legacy system that can significantly be a roadblock when it comes to, to scaling. So platforms like make.com make it easier to link and integrate the different existing platform out there. There are, of course, other important things to consider when we think about strategies for small businesses and startups, and this is uh, selling. So I was having a couple of days ago, a very interesting conversation with the founder of BotStack. Uh, we are discussing a partnership with them. This is a conversational AI. AI. And he told me, look, it's very simple. You need to get high balls, collapse the opportunity and qualify and close. Let me explain. Getting the high balls is all about using your different channels, expose yourself, create great content, give value away. Because at the end, what makes the difference is really people. In our case, it's the community that makes the difference. The community is our key differentiator. It means everything. It's actually the foundation of what we do and who we do it for. It's designed for professionals who are passionate about AI. They don't want to fear it. They want to embrace it in a responsible way. And in there, you can find visual artists, graphic designers, corporate employees, entrepreneurs, so many different kinds of people. And it's about collapsing these opportunities as a matter of quantity and quality. Quality also means talking with the people to understand their needs and their reaction to what you show to them, especially when it comes to AI and this uh, skepticism, this uh, block we often find in people when we talk about AI. And then it's closing. Closing means focus on the top three customers, then your next 10, and then more. Ask your family and friends, People want to help each other. This is the way I uh, got to be surrounded by amazing people, my teammates and my advisors. You need to align your efforts with meaningful tools and meaningful people. And your value proposition will evolve. You will evolve as a human being and as a professional. So what do you know where you will be in six months with this pace of change, right? Hi, we are Black Cube Labs. We help you with accessible AI technology.
We are a nascent boutique consultancy and AI agency in a community with a passion for generative art. I invite you to become a member. Registration is free. You will find tons of per perks and benefits, discounts, resources, lots of knowledge. And only for today and tomorrow, if you want, you get 10% off our premium membership with code EASY10. Um, our prices are outrageously low. Never mind. If you're interested, we are here to help you out. Thank you so much.